12 through 14, and then verses 20 through 26. Mark chapter 11, begin with verse 12. And on the morrow, when they were come from Bethany, he was hungry. And seeing a fig tree afar off, having leaves, he came, if happily he might find anything thereon. And when he came to it, he found nothing but leaves, for the time of figs was not yet. Praise the Lord. And Jesus answered and said unto it, speaking to the tree, No man eat fruit of thee hereafter, forever. And his disciples heard it. Let's look at verse 20, 20 through 26. And in the morning, as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. And Peter, calling to remember, said unto him, Master, behold the fig tree, which thy curse is withered away. And Jesus answered, saying, saith unto them, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not die in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he said. Praise God. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. And when you stand praying, forgive, if you have fought against him, that your Father also which is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. But if you do not forgive, Neither will your Father, which is in heaven, forgive your transgressions. Say amen. amen. Now praise God in the Bible. <coughs> praise God. The fig tree was very valuable. Amen. amen. Even from Genesis. Praise God. Amen. The third chapter. After that, Adam and Eve had seen. Praise God. Amen. And Praise God. Amen. Their eyes were open to see what? Good and evil. Amen. Amen. Praise God. From the standpoint of sinners. Amen. Amen. And they saw that they were naked. Amen. Amen. And what did they do? They sewed fig leaves together Amen. and made themselves aprons. Aprons of covering. Amen. Amen. Genesis 3 and 7 says, And the eyes of them both were open." And they knew that they were naked. And they sewed figures together and made themselves eight. Say amen. amen. Praise God. Today, you know, we look in the world, a lot of times we wish people would really realize that. Amen. And that they will cover themselves more. Is that right, Mother Cody? Amen. Praise God. Many times people are going, ladies going like everything up him by eye. Amen. All around his eyes, all up him. Amen. Praise God. Amen. But Adam and Eve. Even though they had messed up with God, but they had enough knowledge and understanding, pray that to realize they need to cover themselves. Because see, the thing about it is, before sin, and when they uh, disobeyed God, praise God, amen, Adam disobeyed God, listened to the serpent. And see, before this time, they were naked, but listen, there was no sin. Amen. amen. Sin causes people to mess up. Yes, amen. Sin lusts. Amen. And all that praise that caused people to withdraw from God. Amen. amen. Praise God. So praise God. Amen. But thank God, even in their sin, they knew how to cover themselves. Amen. amen. Let's look at 2 Kings 20 and 7. Praise the Lord. 2 Kings chapter 20 and verse 7. Praise God. Here, praise God, is, amen, the story about Hezekiah. Was sick unto death. Amen. Amen. Isaiah the prophet came to let him know to set his house in order, but he should surely die and not live. But praise God, he turned his face to the wall and he cried out to God. Amen. Amen. Because of his faithfulness, his living holy, his obedience to God, he poured out his soul to God and praise God. Amen. What happened? Amen. Praise God. God heard his cry. Amen. Amen. And God sent Isaiah, prophet, to turn him around to go back and tell him. He heard his cry. And he said, I will heal thee. Amen. And I'm going to what, add 15 more years Amen. to your life. Amen. 
It's wonderful to serve God. Amen. 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 Cause you never know when you're going to have to call on me. Praise God. Because in sin, God did not hear someone's prayer. Amen. 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 We've got to be born again. Yeah. Is that right? God repent. That's God to forgive us. We must change our lifestyle. Yeah. Our way of living. Our way of doing. Amen. Praise God. The things we're doing, the place we'll go, we have to come out of that. Amen. 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 But 2 Kings 20 and 7 said, then I'm talking about the fig tree again. Yeah. Amen. And figs. And Isaiah said, take a lump of fig. Yeah. And they took and laid it on the ball. So what the problem was, what? He was sick. He was infested for a ball. Yeah. Amen. And I, I, I read that some years ago. Amen. Sometimes right? a ball is very, very painful. Yeah. Very infested. Yeah. Corruption comes out of it. Yeah. Amen, praise God. And, and most times, uh, even if the doctor would lift it, they have to go and get the core of it. Right. Amen. But here, this man was very sick. He was dying. Amen. Praise God. But then, amen, God heard his cry. Amen. And praise God. And Isaiah said, take a lump of fish. And they took and laid it on the ball. And he what? Recovered. Isn't God wonderful? Yes. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. So it said the prophet Isaiah brought Hezekiah a message that he would die, not live. But Hezekiah cried Amen. out to God of his faithfulness to God. Amen. And what happened? God heard. Amen. Praise God comes to hear. Whatever God says, believe me, he's going to do it. Amen. Don't ever give up on God. Whatever God has spoken to you, he's going to do it. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Now, praise God. Amen. Let's look at 1 Kings chapter 4 and verse 7. Talking about the fig. The fig and what? The fig tree. Amen. Praise God. 1 Kings 4 and 25. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It says here. Praise the Lord. Amen. First Kings chapter 4 and verse 25. It says, And Judah and Israel dwelt safely, every man under his vine and under his fig tree. From Dan even to Beersheba all the days of Solomon. And there was a reason for that. There was a purpose in that. Praise God. And it says, To dwell under one's vine or fig tree represents a time of happiness Praise God. and prosperity. Praise, Praise God. Safety and security. Amen. So that was great value in the fig tree, wasn't it? Amen. Praise God. Now we go back. Praise God to Matthew chapter 21. <coughs> Praise the Lord. And praise God. As the word said that Jesus was hungry. Amen. Praise God. Now that represents the human side of Jesus. Because what? He was human in the vine. Amen. He was human because of his mother, Mary. Amen. Is that right? And the vine of, because of his father, God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And he, he was seeing these leaves on the tree. He expected the figs to be on the tree. Amen. Now, praise God, you go out there and you look at a tree and you see the leaves. You say, surely there got to be some figs. Amen. Amen. Even though it was not the season for it. But you know how in the day and time we live now, praise God, if you take note of the weather, if the weather warms up, even though it might still be winter, yeah. the next thing you see is what? Bud. Trees start budding out. And so here it was, this tree, fig tree, had all these leaves. And Jesus, praise God, seeing it, him being hungry, he expected to see what? Figs. Praise God. Amen. But when he looked, all leaves and no figs. Praise God. Amen. So what did he do? He crushed the tree. Amen. And this shows, amen, that what? And the tree what? Wiggled away. It didn't take, amen, three, four, five days. Amen. It was done, wasn't it? Praise God. And this, praise God, and praise God, is what? It lets us know that nature has to be subject to the word of Christ. Amen. Is that right? Amen. 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 Praise God. God what? In the beginning, God created the heaven and earth. Amen. The Bible says what? The earth is the Lord. The fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. 
And the choir used to sing this song what? God has everything. And everything what? Belongs to him. And see, praise God, that's what we got to realize. So when God speaks, no matter what it is, it's got to obey. It's got to bow down. If he curses, it, it's got to die. Say amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And so, praise God, that shows that nature is subject to the word of Christ. Amen. amen. Praise God. So, amen. Let's see. Verse 21. It said, Jesus answered and said unto them, Brother, I say unto you, if ye have faith and doubt not, ye shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also if ye shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, it shall be done. All things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believe ye shall receive. Praise God. Now, faith. And the Lord seen your power. God sees his power. We've got to have faith to believe. Amen. Faith to receive from God. Amen. And then faith to use what? What God has given us. Amen. Praise God. The Bible lets us know. Praise God. Amen. That he has given us. Let's see. I think that's about Luke 10 and 19. Praise God. He's given us power. Praise God. Amen. Luke 10 and 19 said, Behold, I give unto you power. Amen. God said, I give it to you. Amen. To tread, that means to walk. Yeah. On serpents and scorpions, that's, that's evil spirit. Amen. Not many people out there stepping on a scorpion or stepping on a, a, a serpent or snake. Amen. But those spirits. Amen. Amen. And all oh, what? All the power of the enemy. God has given us that kind of power. But we got to believe. We have to use it. Is that right? Amen. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. Praise God. Now, what is this saying to the church? Praise God. God does not want us to believe. Praise God. All right. These, now most like the figs were what? Up under, they would have been up under the leaves. Amen. Amen. Is that like most time when you see things, you see the leaves before you see the actual fruit? All right. Now, God doesn't want us to betray on the outside like we are holy. Like we're there, like we got it, got it, got it, yes I got it, but you know what he wants us to portray? Fruit. Fruit. All right, Jesus was looking for what? Fruit. He was looking for what? Fear. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And Galatians 5 and 25, no, I'm sorry, 5, praise the Lord, and 22 through 23 says what? But the fruit... Of the Spirit. That's what He wants us to have. Amen. Fruit. Amen. The tree. Amen. What? But we're supposed to produce what? Natural fruit. Amen. But we're supposed to produce what? Spiritual fruit. Amen. But the fruit of the Spirit is what? Love. love. And the Word says what? Praise God. Amen. We have to love our enemies. Amen. Love those that despite the use. Amen. Love those that talk about it. Amen. Do good to those. Amen. Praise God that work against us. Amen. Is that right? Amen. You might say it's hard to do. No, you, Jesus would have to do it. Amen. Did Jesus do it? Isn't he still doing it? Amen. Praise God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace. Amen. He said, praise God, in St. John 14. Praise God. Amen. Thank you. 14. Praise God. You hold your finger right there. Praise God. Amen. 14 and 27. Peace I, I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Amen. 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 Praise God. So he's given us what? Peace. Long suffering. That means what? We've got to endure. Amen. Hold on. Keep the faith. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Keep praying what? One for another. Burn one another up. Is that right? Amen. Gentleness. Gentleness means what? To be kind. And since when that's on that job, if you were all uh, erratic and all that kind of stuff, praise God, Amen. you would be just as bad off as the children. Amen. But God has given you a method and a plan Amen. to work with the children. So what? Teachers are what? To train. Amen. And then she knows how to love. Amen. Amen. To win those bad children. Amen. Where she is... Uh, uh, a librarian in the school. Amen. Praise God. She works in the school system. 
Now, you know how it is with the children today? Amen. Amen. My God, it's far more than when you were little girls. It's far more and far more and far more than the mother bonds when we were little girls. Amen. Praise God. Thank God. So therefore, God has to give us the ability to do what he has assigned our hands to do. What with grace and mercy, with love and tender care. And the word said gentleness. Be gentle. No matter how radical a person might be, be gentle. Goodness. Know how to be good. Say good things. Do good things. And then what it says, faith. And what it said in Mark, praise God, what it said after he, after he spoke to his disciples about the fig tree, it says what? Have faith. Amen. Is that what it said? Have faith in God. Amen. Faith. Faith. Believe it. Trust it. Yes, Taking God at his word. Amen. Whatever he said, believe he's going to do it. Amen. I believe he's going to do it. How about you? Yes. Amen. The Bible says what? God is not a man. That he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. Had he said it, shall he not do it? Had he spoken, shall he not make it good? I don't care how the situation is. Know that God's going to do it. Hallelujah, because he said it. If he said it, it shall come to pass. We just got to walk. Have faith. We got to believe. We got to trust God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No matter how bad the situation looks, we got to believe God.
praise God. And I'm proof that all these, amen, are compiled together. And it com is compiled into what? One fruit. Now, if you say, amen, she has the fruit of the Spirit, you got to have them all. Amen. amen. Praise God. Remember now, we said, but the fruit of the Spirit. Yeah. No S is on fruit. It's love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, but also meekness. Yeah. Amen. Be humble. Amen. Say amen. amen. Think before you speak. Amen. 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 You got to hear a matter out yes. before you speak. The Bible talks about that. Amen. amen. It's in uh, uh, Proverbs that you must hear a matter out before you announce. Is that right? Yes. So what you got to be what? A good listener. Yes. To give a good answer, you must be a good listener. Yes. Say amen. Yes. You must have understanding. Yes. Is that right? Yes. Praise God. So it says meekness, temperance. Amen. Restrain yourself. Temperance. Yes. Or make you restrain yourself. Yes. Say amen. Well, I almost said, but you didn't. Yes. That's restraining, isn't it? Yes. I almost did something. I almost went off. But thank God you did. Timorous stepped in and restrained. Say amen. amen. Praise God. And in meekness and temper against such that is no law. Say amen. amen. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Amen. There is no law that will override this. Amen. amen. Praise God. So therefore, praise God, you understand why. Jesus, amen, he saw, amen, the fig tree with all these leaves. Amen. amen. I'm looking at that plant there. All those beautiful leaves. Yeah. Say amen. amen. But praise God, amen. If it were supposed to have flowers on the system, amen, at a certain time, if that were a time, I'm just using that as an example. Amen. You said, well, something's wrong that we never see the flowers. Yeah. Amen. Now, for us, praise God. Amen. Praise God. If we are bearing fruit, we must possess what? The fruit of the Spirit. Amen. We gotta have the fruit. Amen. At all times. In the home, with your neighbors, with your families, on the job, wherever you go. In the grocery store, when you take care of your business. Even driving. Sometimes you see people driving. They don't have no fruit of the Spirit. But they duck it in and out. About to cause you to have an accident. Cutting across you. Instead of having patience, they don't have. You say they don't have any patience. Amen. We must possess patience wherever we go. Whatever we do. Is that right? Amen. Let somebody see. Amen. What God has possessed in us. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Meekness and temperance. Praise God. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Today, subject, Lord, send your power. Amen. Amen. Praise God. In my conclusion today, we need the power. Amen. We need that power. Amen. Holy Ghost power. Yes. Say amen. amen. Where the Bible says, praise God. Amen. Praise God. That's, that's Luke 10 and 19. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Again, he said, Behold, Jesus is talking. I give unto you what? Power. Amen. Not my own power, Mike, but God's power. Yes, Holy Ghost power. To tread on serpents and scarlet, and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall the enemy hurt you. Now, if a person is going through something, and amen, they ask you to pray for them. What you got to do? Jesus cursed the fig tree. You have to curse that condition. Do it. Pray. God. we don't be saying, Lord, bless them all. We will, they got to get delivered. Amen. And once they get delivered, once they'll be blessed. Amen. Praise God. So what you got to do? You got to curse. The word says, Amen. Praise God. Amen. Jesus cursed the fig tree. So then we have to what? Curse that situation. Amen. Curse that spirit. Curse that attack. Amen. Curse that evil focus. focus. And why? In the name of Jesus. Command it to what? Jesus spoke and he cursed the fig tree and it died. So you curse a spirit, a condition. I curse it in the name of it. And I 
a man yet to walk by. Die. In whose name? In the name of Jesus. And you better be very consistent with it. Is that right? Praise God. Amen. When the enemy comes, praise God. The Bible said the enemy coming like a flood. The Lord will lift up a standard against it. But what you got to do, you got to bind it up. And what we must be mindful to do, as soon as you feel the enemy come, don't wait to later. Start praying me. Right then. Start praying right then. That's what he said. He said, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on. And you got the faith to believe, it's worth it. Amen. To tread on serpent and scoff and over all, he said, all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall the enemy is hurt. You gotta believe God. Is that right? Not have fear, but believe God. And then what you're going to do? You're going to go on believing and trusting God. He's worked it out. Is that right? Don't go around with a sad face, broken down, you know, all down, torn down. No, what you're going to do? Amen, praise God. You're believing God. Amen. That God is working it out. And what? And I'm going for. I'm going for what? Lord, if you help me, I can make it. It's like John 15 and 5 says, he says, no matter what, without me, you can do nothing. So, Lord, I acknowledge without you, I can do nothing. But, Lord, if you help me, I can do it. Amen. Pray. Well, what the song say? I can do it. Yes, I can do it. Lord, if you help me, you strengthen me. You bury me. I can do it. And then you write, Lord, don't let me be made of shame. You promise me by putting my trust in the Lord. You will never let me be made of shame. You will never say, Amen, praise God. The Amen, thank God, and those children were subject to you. Not one didn't reach back and hit you. That's what made you ashamed as being the instructor. Say amen. amen. But see, God vindicated. Praise God. Amen. Let's look here. Let's look through 18. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Luke 18. Praise God. It says, Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise. Thank you, Jesus. And Luke 18 and 7. And shall not God avenge his only elect? We are God's chosen people. Which cried day and night unto him. Though he bear long with them, I tell you that he will avenge the spirit. He said, nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. You got to hold up the faith. You got to keep the faith. And when we pray, we got to believe God will avenge us. Avenge us. Is that right? He'll step in. He'll fix it. And God had an angel standing there one. That you were able, amen, to bring those bad children under subjection. Say amen. See, God is working for you. He's working for me. All he asks is that we hear from him. Be an example of Jesus Christ. Is that right? Trust God, Lord. Lord, talk to God. When you're riding down the road on your car, talk to God. Going to work, talk to God. Going back home, talk to God. Going to school, talk to God. Hallelujah. Be an example wherever you go. And God will avenge us of every access, Amen. of every task. But you got to keep trusting. Yes. Keep believing. God's going to do it. Yes. He's gonna, then you got to what? Thank you, God. Lord, thank you for doing it. Amen. Thank you for working out. Amen. You don't have to wait until it's done, but thank you. Lord, thank you. Amen. Thank you for doing it. You promise. Yes. Thank you for doing it. Never stand and give praise to you. Thank you, Lord. Thank
So we just speak to our mountain in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Amen. One more scripture in Job. Praise God. You can remain standing. I think it's Job 22. Praise God. Thank you. Yes. It says this. Thy shall also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy way. Now, says, well, now what does the word decree mean? It shall be so. It shall be so. All right, you, I decree that I'm here. In Jesus' name. I decree. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. That it's going to be wasted. I decree that Satan take a flight. Hallelujah. Praise You got to decree. He said, the word says what? It says here, praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. It says, God, uh, that's uh, Job uh, 22 and verse 28. Thou shalt also decree a thing. And it shall be accepted. It's going to be worked out. Amen. And what we have to do unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy way. So you got to decree a thing that it shall be accepted. Establish is what is established. Amen. I decree. Amen. Praise God. Amen. That you got to decree. I decree, sister, that, that those children. Monday will be the hand. See what I mean? I decree that I get a raise on my job. Amen. Hallelujah. I decree in the name of Jesus that I'm healed. I decree that I'm delivered.
Give the Lord a hand clap of praise.